So after studying the, you know, the mannerism of indirect election of the president, then proceed about his oath of office. See, oath of office means he'll take oath, you know, that he is ready to join with the office of president. And the president takes oath in the presence of Chief Justice of Supreme Court of India. So the Chief Justice of Supreme Court of India will do the honor of taking, I mean, making the president to take oath. And so what, what will be there in this oath? So generally the president takes oath like this, that he will discharge the functions as president of India. And he will preserve, protect and also defend the constitution and law. That means whenever constitution is under threat, so it is the duty of the president to protect and preserve it and also to defend the law of the land which is prescribed by constitution. That means in total he acts as a defender of the constitution. Whenever constitution falls in you know, danger, he will take up the job of protecting it. And also he takes oath of devoting himself to the service and well-being of people of India. So by participating in the legislature and other things, he devotes himself to the service of the people and well-being of the people of India. So this is about the oath of office of the... So after studying the oath of office, so then let us proceed towards... So how many... What is the term of his office? So generally, the president will be in the office for a period of five years. And after the five years... Till the next successor takes in charge of the office, he will be in that position. That means five years is his term and till the next new elected president or the same person may be elected again. There is no, uh, we can't say that. It depends on the party's decision, a political party's taking decision. So five years is the general term and after five years, till the next successor comes, the president will be in the post office or in the post office position of president and when do you think his office will be vacant so generally when the president resigns okay he has to submit the resignation letter to the vice president of india so and when he resigns and submit his resignation to vice president of india his office will fall vacant and the vice president later will inform this to the speaker of Lok Sabha because the president is part of parliament in the process of bill making and all. Hence, the vice president will inform this issue of resignation to the speaker of Lok Sabha. And during certain peculiar conditions like violation of constitution, the president can be removed by the parliament through a procedure called impeachment. As I said, the executive is under the you know under the uh, legislative body of parliament here it can be reflected that means if the president goes against constitution then he can be removed by both houses of parliament through a process called impeachment so now let us understand what how the president can be removed we have studied about oath of office his term of office and what are his duties so now let us understand how his he can be impeached or how he can be removed. So only on the basis of violation of constitution, the president can be removed. And how this process will start? See, a 14 days notice will be given to president for, uh, by, you know, signed by one fourth of the members of a particular house. See, in parliament we have Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. In any of the house, the impeachment process may be started. So, suppose you take it is started in Lok Sabha. So, the 14 days notice will be given to president through the Lok Sabha. And by, uh, no, that, that means here, no, the 14 day notice is served to the president through the house. And here, in serving that notice, one fourth of the house members should sign and give the notice. And once this one fourth members sign the notice and give it to the speaker or the chairperson, then the house should pass a resolution with a two-third majority that we are going to serve a notice of impeachment to the president. So to in whichever house the notice has been given, from that house a two-third majority resolution should be passed 
for beginning the process of impeachment and once this resolution of two third majority is passed in a particular house then this resolution will go to the next house if it is started in lok sabha it will go to rajya sabha or if the impeachment process started in rajya sabha it will go to lok sabha now once this resolution goes to the other house the other house will turn into an investigating house so there the president can go and he can represent his views on you know the notice given to him he can you know, defend himself about the notice served by him by the other house and after going through the investigation of the charges made on the president then if that particular investigating house if it passes you know a resolution with two third majority regarding the impeachment process then the president is said to be removed and the vacancy is filled with the vice president till the new president is elected so the investigating house also passes a two third majority resolution in support of the impeachment then the president is said to be removed if that house doesn't passes then president is not supposed to be you know impeached or if the president resigns in between then also the impeachment process will stop so this is about the impeachment so this particular slide explains the same impeachment process in the in the form of a diagram so where the house one will serve a 14 day period notice to the president and this house will also pass a resolution with two third majority later this resolution will go to second house and that second house will act as a investigating house and in this investigating house the president will you know come and he will defend uh, his views and what basis he was impeached and all and later he will be given a chance to give his uh, views there and later if that house moves resolution with two third majority then finally the president is said to be impeached so otherwise sometimes if any of the house fails in passing resolutions with two third majority the impeachment process will stop or if the president resigns uh, during the impeachment process so the impeachment motion will be stopped